Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Wasteland 3 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Alright, so last episode we made it to our Still need to talk to you, Rangers. new HQ here. I got it, man. <laughs> and that's where we left off, is we need to talk to that guy, as he's making it very clear. Need to talk to you, Rangers. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Uh, again, I think this is going to be about recruiting and stuff, so this is uh, going to get let us get some partners eventually. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez. Electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? All right, so do we want to ask him some questions? Do we have any questions? I don't know. I, I really want to know if he's a great skier because his <laughs> name is Great Ski. He True. lives in Colorado, so I'm wondering if Sergey is a great skier. I he guess that's a question. Sound I have. like a Sergey Great Ski. He doesn't. Uh, we could also say let's talk about the next steps or show us if you got lined up. Let's say before we get all that, let's ask him about the Great Ski name. I gotta know. Of course, ask away. I'm not sure exactly. We came by a week and a half ago and it was stone quiet. We were gonna get the place cleaned up before you got here, but then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the back burner. Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. Alright, so I guess that's all the questions that we have for right now. I was thinking you were going to start flipping out about the AI in your vehicle, Jinx. Yeah, I'm not a fan of robots. Yeah, you got an AI that just installed it in the vehicle without our permission. But, like, this is the future. Robots have already been around. There are friends and our enemies. We're just going to go with it. Uh, so it, it'll uh, allow it to fight in some battles. From my understanding, it's kind of sporadic on whether you have uh, whether you have it assisting you or not in the battle. So that's all the questions we have, a great ski, because we weren't able to ask about his skiing ability. Okay, what's next? Uh, so let's say, show us all who you've got lined up. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. All right, so let's launch in the squad management. Okay, and then we get to create a new recruit, so we can just use one of theirs, or we can create a custom one, and that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to create our own custom characters. I think that's the best way to do it. Are you doing that as well, Jinx? Yes. Of course, I want to make my best friend. Yeah, uh, I mean, so I guess you're my best friend. Yeah, I thought yes. I was your best friend. I'm being replaced here. My guys. other best friend. <laughs> uh, so Jinx is going to create one character, and I'm going to create one character, and uh, that will round out our, our total ranger team for right now. Uh, the other two, I don't think you get to create those. I think those are ones that you recruit in the out in the world. Uh, so I think those are the ones he was talking about. 
Uh, so we will not have this on camera, guys, so that we don't take the whole episode up with character creation, because the last time I took it got a good 20 minutes. I do expect it to take a little bit less time since it kind of... It's not us. It's not us. And they're going to die anyway. <laughs> you think they're going to die, Jinx? Of course. Nobody lasts long Jinx is P and J. Jinx is convinced we're not going to keep these guys alive. Watch them last the whole series. All right, so we'll do a cut here and come back to once the characters are created. All right, guys, so we are done, and it did end up taking longer than expected. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys my character. So mine's going to be a big old monster melee fighter uh, who's also going to be our guy. He does all the repairs and stuff like that. Uh, so his name is Bear. You guys know bears are my spirit animals. And so uh, he's male. He's got the ice uh -oh. see us. voice, and his background is lethal weapon, which is 10% uh, melee damage. So I thought that was a pretty good one for him. And then, obviously, here's his appearance. Uh, physique, of course, is gigantic, <laughs> jacked. <laughs> and I, I like the, the tats, so I didn't give him a helmet or anything like that. And his uh, starting weapon, of course, is going to be a blunt weapon. Yeah, that's what his specialty would be. His attributes. So he has no awareness. Completely <laughs> take that down. He's completely unaware of everything that's happening around him. Uh, he's not the smartest guy, but he's not stupid. He has no charisma, though. None at all. And uh, he's really, really strong. I put a lot of points into strength, so he should have good health and do good damage. Uh, I actually give him speed. You wouldn't think a big guy could move this quick, but remember, he is a uh, melee fighter, so we need to get him up to uh, closer to the battle. And also, we want him to be a little bit tanky, so evasion will help. He needs to dip and weave. Yeah. Uh, he's kind of a lucky guy, actually. You wouldn't expect it, but he's kind of lucky. And then uh, he's got good coordination, too, so he has some action points. Uh, for skills, oh, you um, have one point remaining. Yeah, I, I didn't know where to put it just yet. I kind of wanted to ask you guys what y'all think. Uh, so, uh, we're getting the three points in the melee combat. That's the most we can get right now, uh, unless we want to do the two points. Uh, and then we also have two points in armor mod. And so I know I put a point in armor mod, and I wish I hadn't. Uh, this is going to be our armor modder uh, because I realize I think my character just has too many skills he's trying to invest in right now. Yeah. Yeah, so he'll be our armor modder and I'll be the weapon modder. And he's the leader. Yeah. Uh, so just delegate. Exactly. Uh, he's got three points into mechanics since that's going to be his main uh, support skill that he uses. And one point into survival uh, so he'll do more damage against animals and mutants. And also this is important for avoiding the world map encounters when you travel places. Mm -hmm. That kind of helps you avoid that. So we want somebody to get that. I figured he'd eventually go into toaster repair. Now apparently in, in Wasteland 2, toaster repair was like incredibly important. Like you need <laughs> to have like lots of points into it. Because you find these toasters everywhere that have like really important items in them. And from what I've read on a couple reviews is that toaster repair is no longer as important. You don't get as many good stuff. But you get some things. So I could... People hide things in toasters. Apparently, yeah. And plus you get bread, which is used for healing. So, you know, or toast, oh, I should shit. say. I love toast. So I could go ahead and start putting the points into this right now, toaster repair. Uh, however, I was also considering... I don't know what you guys think about this. Do you think I should put a point, put some points in the big guns yes. and have, you know, have him also be able to do range? I don't really know because he's kind of built... Well, I, I, my guy's already the explosive guy. Oh, true. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we should have him have like some type of range ability and not have him entirely reliant on melee. That seems like that could go bad. Yeah. So I, he might want to have like uh, the big guns ability or even small arms and then just use a shotgun. Uh, that'd be a possibility too. True. So a lot of possibilities for what we could do for a secondary weapon. I'm going to kind of put it up to you guys. Post it down in the comments below. What do you think we should do? So we should just rely on melee combat for now and then into the toaster repair or should we go ahead and start working on getting you know just at least a level one skill for a secondary weapon we could do explosives uh, that's one option i suppose and it kind of fits with them could do big guns nobody does that yet or we do small arms just for the shotties since he'll be up close anyway for melee combat true uh, so that's the options let me know down in the comments below uh, as far as the quirk goes he's got Varingian blood so the Vi those are the vikings who fought for the byzantine empire uh, and this gives us, whenever one of our allies is downed in combat, we get the Berserker Rage, which is a plus 100% critical chance and plus 3 AP for just one turn. But then for the next two turns, we don't have as much AP because we're tired, I guess. But I thought it fit for the character. Because he loves us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. He's a big, he's a big love bug, man. Yeah, he's a big love bear. He, My uh, sniper's going to ride on his back. He likes snuggling. <laughs> So I'm, I'm hoping I can show Jinx's character here. I don't know if they'll let me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I won't be able to do it just now unless I'm able to take your 
uh, Swamp Squad, I think? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so I think I should... Oops. Whoa, what's going on here? I think I should build a selector. No, I can't select her just yet. Uh, so we're going to keep her in my squad for right now so that I can show you guys what Jinx did Listen, with her. I can get you all the fighting troops you need. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before I toss it all out. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are gonna need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Well, I know this city like the back of my hand. And this city knows me. My time in the Marshals means I've got connections and trusted informants everywhere. Plus, I'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper. And, though it hurts my civic pride to say it, there are places around here where those things might come in handy. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. Okay, so Marshall Kwan is our first AI companion. So uh. he just... Yeah, he's under the control... Of the AI. He's gonna do what he wants. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so does everybody follow us? Or... Yeah. Hmm. So how do, I'm sure there's a way to select all your characters and make them all walk. Maybe uh, toggle group select? Yeah. yeah, there we go. So now we have them all under control. So let me go ahead and show you guys Jinx's character so she can take control of her again. Oh, she's short. Oh, I guess I compared her to Bear. Yeah. <laughs> Is she like average height? No, she's smaller than average. Okay, well, she's pretty cool looking. I like her haircut. She's got a little mask on. And as you guys can clearly see, she is a sniper. Uh, so looking at her attributes, I haven't seen most of these because uh, Jinx designed her. She has uh, good coordination, or, you know, average coordination here, average luck. Uh, the awareness is pretty high, so she'll be able to uh, be more likely to hit and has good range damage. Uh, the strength is... Uh, two, which is about where you want it. She's going to be far away, so she doesn't really need to worry about taking too much damage. Her charisma is absolute garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so the only bad thing about that is that she's going to get less experience. Uh, so that might be... She's yeah, like really she's shy, though. she's not good with people. Because she's a mopey poet. Mm -hmm. That's her background, guys. She gives her a plus 5% evasion. Uh, she could have went with uh, the book one, too, which gives her more experience. Uh, but yeah, I think it fits with her character. Uh, her quirk is point dexter which will reduce her health overall by quite a bit. Uh, she's going to be kind of a... Again, she's a sniper, so she's going to be far away. Uh, but yeah, she's definitely going to be a... Uh, what do they call The glass wizard? Uh, so, <laughs> glass is that wizard. what they call them? I'm not sure. I think that's what they call them. A glass cannon, excuse me. Glass cannon. <laughs> Wizards are glass <laughs> she cannons. She can be a wizard. That's what I meant to say. Glass cannon. Wizards are often glass cannons, so that's why I threw that in there. But anyway, uh, she's uh, going to be a damage dealer and, and uh, weak. She's got good intelligence. Uh, that's going to give her more... Uh, she's going to get a lot of skill points overall with the point dexter and the intelligence. Oh, man. I bet she has a ton of skill points that she'll be getting. Uh, and we'll take a look at that in a second. Is there anything else here? Speed's all right. Seems like she probably wouldn't need speed much, considering the fact she's not going to move that often. True. I would say from here on out, yeah, you might just want to put into, like, uh, intelligence. Maybe give her one point of charisma, although I guess if you're role-playing, she doesn't need it. And then, yeah, the awareness uh, definitely, can, you know, that, that helps with the, the damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, coordination's good, too, because it'll let her uh, shoot more often. As far as her skills go, she's a nerd. She's got three points in the nerd stuff. 
Uh, so that's going to allow her to hack the computers and hack the robots. She's sneaky. Super sneaky. She's going to be our sneaky character. Uh, and that'll allow her to like disalar disarm alarms and all that kind of good stuff. That means Jinx is going to have to be sneaking around for us. Oh no. Sneaky uh, sneak. Sniper rifle is obviously three points in there. She's also our barter and she's our science person as well. Uh, so that is all. I don't think there's anything else we wanted her to do. So I think, and that's pretty much, uh, that's, that's a good number of skills for her to have to invest in. She might be able to invest in an extra one simply because she's going to get so many skill points. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she might have some other options there. All right, so those are the characters. Let's go ahead and give Jinx control of Raven soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we need to swap Scott, swap, swap Scott's squads. Scratch. Jesus Christ, man! I can't talk today. All right, uh, so I believe we can finally go doing a little bit of exploring, guys. Well, out, ladies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, everybody's selected right now. So we've got a couple doors we can go and do, and that's the thing that we said we were going to do. Although Jinx really wanted to come over here. I just want to pet the critter. And it seems like this would be useful, you know, now that we've got the repair ability. It's a rusted slicer dicer. Let's Aww. talk to him. This enormous spider-like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids. Its casing dented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrape marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. Uh, so we can try and repair it because we have Mechanics 3. Peering inside the quivering robot's casing, you find a lot of salvage parts and new wiring. Someone's been working on the robot for quite a while. There's a bad connection to the power supply, strong enough to give someone a wicked shock. Take some careful work to repair the connection. As soon as the short is repaired, the robot sputters of life, it turns cold, unfilling optical sensor towards you, and its weapons spin up. Uh-oh. Oh, we're going to have to fight an army. <laughs> well, that sucks. Damn. I thought we were going to subdue it. We are not really in a good spot for for fighting for against fighting a robot. robots. Yeah. I thought can we could I get, be friends. Yeah, well, maybe we can. Maybe we can convince him that it's in his best interest. Uh, so let's go ahead and run over here. Take cover. And then we're going to shoot him, guys. We're going to shoot him. Oh, he is got a lot of health, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. All right, so now it's Bear's turn, and there's nothing else to do with Bear but smack <laughs> people. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Make sure I got the... Uh... Okay, we do. It's a wrench. That's what he uses. Just a giant wrench mm -hmm. to whack people with. Uh, so if I just go to attack, will it uh, automatically move over there and take the AP? Yeah. There we go. So we smacked him. And we only have two AP left. So let's do a final action. I guess will be defend. Seems like a good thing for us to do here. Yeah, since we're out in the open. Get whacked. Mm -hmm. And the Marshal Quan. Oh, so I am con in control of this guy. I was oh, thinking shit. that the AI would control this character. All right. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, so, let's place him behind this cover here. Looks like he can move a lot further than Praetorian can. Uh, and then we're going to have him do an attack here. Oh, we might need to change his gun out. I bet we got some better ones. So let's change his turn now. I'm so bummed that we don't get to be the robot's friend. Maybe we, you never know. Maybe uh, we just need to smack him around a little bit and, and teach him a lesson. Mm, let's see. Who's, Wait, uh, who's that guy over there laying on the ground? I don't it's know. I'm guessing game. the robot killed whoever it is. We'll click on him and after we, we deal with this this battle. Jinx is over here worried about who's laying on the ground and shit. <laughs> uh, you might want to get behind oh, cover. Oh, I can talk to him. <laughs> can you? Yeah. Yeah, I would say... Oh, yeah, you can because you have the... I would say go talk to him. Maybe you can make him uh, your friend. I sweet know. talk him. <laughs> Oh, that's not talking. That's not talking. <laughs> that's not talking talk. at all. Uh, you might want to get behind cover. Or not. Yeah, I missed him. Uh, you still got a little bit of AP left. You can maybe move a little distance from him. Yeah, it says talk to AP. Huh, maybe that's you have to weird. get up close to him and then hit the talk? Uh, maybe. I mean, I guess I'm you could. I'm worried about getting close. Ah, fuck it. Do it. It'd if our fun. medic dies, then I'm sure we'll be oh, alright. Oh shit, and she don't get to talk. <laughs> no, because you don't have any AP left, but next turn you do it. Oh, 
Uh, he might kill her. <laughs> or kill it. Well, I'd rather kill it than... <laughs> I don't think you have enough AP to kill it, though. Yeah, I don't think so, either. Uh, just wait. And defend. Alright, so he'll get his turn. Smack us around. Of course, he goes after... Oh, no. He went after Bear. He oh, missed. He missed. Again, Bear's got some dip game. <laughs> I told you he's a big motherfucker, but... So, should I just not do anything? Shit, I don't know. Because, yeah, it says that I can talk to him, but when I click on to talk to him... Yeah, and it doesn't, doesn't, do it doesn't say that for me. I'm thinking maybe we weren't close enough. You know what? It doesn't matter if you take a little bit of damage. Uh, yeah, this is what we'll do. Uh, we will let Jinx have a chance to talk. I don't know if I can let you have your chance first. No, we can't do that. All right, so yeah, we'll just... Uh, I would like to see if Jinx can talk to him with her little pet ability. Uh, and we'll just set it up to... Let's see how we want to do this. Yeah, we'll just well, hunger down. I think down. the pet ability only um, works on animals. I thought so too, but I'm not... You can see that I don't have the ability to talk. True. Oh, wait a minute. I do have the ability to talk. Hold up. Huh. Yeah, talk to you. I don't, like, nah, I don't know what I don't know. doing. <laughs> Whatever, we killed him. Alright. Yeah, we can't talk to him. Alright, so, uh, we'll switch back to Praetorian. Let's loot his body. And we got the Slicer Dicer Self Assembler. That's a quick slot item. It's missing a couple subsystems, so this is basically mostly an entire slicer dicer, and it puts itself together correctly, like, almost every time. Huh, so we do get the robot. We can deploy it. Oh, shit. You okay. do need seven mechanics, though, so that's not for you. That'll be oh, for wow. Bayer Jinx. Yeah. He's just gonna carry that giant-ass robot in his pocket? Yeah. We also need to equip our two new people. Uh, we haven't given them all their shit yet. True. We haven't given them new weapons and stuff yet. Pulse gun. That looks cool. So, yeah, we might want to go through, like, the inventory and, and get our characters equipped. You want to read this for us, Jinx? The corpse of a young woman lies at your feet, her body contorted at an unnatural angle. Judging by the smell, she's been here a while. All right. Shoo. <laughs> oh, do you not have first aid to you? I, I do. Are you not in this conversation Maybe with me? Maybe she's dead. Oh. I think you're not in the conversation with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, here I am. Okay. So that should allow Jinx to do it. I, I switched control over to her. Determine how she died. The body's... Yeah, okay, got that. Heart failure. A heavy metal spanner is gripped tightly in her right hand. The metal is discolored and scorch marks blackened her fingertips. Looks like... It looks to you like a textbook case of electrocution. Examine the corpse. Might just say the same thing. Oh, maybe not. The woman is wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Her pockets are crammed with fuses, bundles of wire, and bits of circuit boards. It looks like this wastelander made her living by scavenging and repairing electronics. She would have felt right at home in an old garage like this. Leave her alone. Alright, so you know what guys, because already the episode's getting close to ending and we haven't done shit, uh, we will, we will wait. You know what? I don't think be, I think because you're not in my squad, I can't do any of the stuff now. I don't oh, know. Oh shit! Okay. Did you run over there? Or did when I clicked on it, you ran over there? I ran over there. Hmm. Okay. Do you not have lock picking too? Level two. I can't seem to switch back. Okay. Yeah, L one and R one is how you switch characters. Yeah, it's not doing it. Huh. I'm yeah. stuck as Raven. Oh, that's strange. Uh, but you should just be able to click on it. There we go. By it was way. red when you were standing next to it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Alright, so let's go and loot the truck. Let's see what's inside. A repair kit. Uh, so. Collection of simple mechanical parts and tools used to repair vehicles and robots. Alright, so that'll be useful for our little robot guy once we get our mechanics up high enough. You gotta have it at level 7, though, so. It's gonna be a long time before Bear's gonna be able to deploy him. I'm surprised at like how big our squad is and that it can get bigger. Yeah, yeah, we can get one more person. Uh, do you have lockpick in level three? Um, no, I do not. I have lockpick level two. Okay, so we're not getting in there. So I think this just here goes outside. We could open it up, I guess. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. New robots talking to. Oh, oh it's a, it's our vehicle. Uh, oh, he seems nice. So now you don't have a problem with them, Jinx? Yeah. 
We can be pals. I wonder if it'll drive in here like later now that we've cleared this area. We can talk to this. Uh, terminal, displaying information about the base of systems. All seems normal right now. Examine most recent activity logs. Recall service elevator platform. Oh, there's an elevator. Yeah, let's do the, we'll see the activity logs. Uh, they appear to have been destroyed in a giant server wipe that occurred decades ago. The terminal also has controls for some nearby vehicle lists, but currently indicates they're all unresponsive, so I'm guessing this will not work then. Oh no, it did work. Local grinding emanates from the huge trap door near the garage entrance. The smell of rusted metal sparking fills the room. Mechanical failure reported a, a servitor drone has been issued a repair order. Alright. Maybe they'll come fix it. So did you... okay. You unlocked this for us? So yes. let's take a look at what's inside. Any pre-war advertisements for some kind of robot driver? And some junk. Not a joke. Okay. Ooh, Tired a of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st stupid. century solutions Somebody's for the problems of today. I didn't really want to listen to that, but I know how to cancel it, guys. I thought he said herpes. Oh, we can talk to these people. All right, well, let's do so. It's corpse. We're trying to talk to, talk to corpses, <laughs> I guess. This female corpse is bloated and putrefied. One of her arms is entirely missing. Black ichor oozes from her swollen torso. Well, that's disgusting. Blub, blub, blub. All right, so do I need to switch it over to you, and then you can do it. I'm gonna poke her. <laughs> Looks like the missing arm had nothing to do with the woman's demise. It had been expertly removed and stitched up long before she died. Instead, she seems to have died of an infection or illness. You notice that the corpse's ankles and wrists were scarred as if she had been chained up for a while. Not first aid for... Not you can't inspect the enough. oh yeah I guess inspecting the corpse again wouldn't be useful. So you can inspect all those corpses I guess if all you want, Jinx. Yeah, if you wanna. Oh, I won't be able to. Yeah, I gotta be part of it, don't I? Uh, yeah, I didn't think of that. I guess there's not really a whole lot of information here, but. Just look at what killed him. Yeah, I guess we'll see that real quick. People. Starvation, dehydration. He was a slave, too. Yeah, it seems they are all were captured. And yeah, these are all talking. Ooh, big old pile of bodies. Mm-hmm. I had some med stuff, though. Yeah, then should... why'd they die? They had I medicine. don't know, man. I don't know. They had nice beds, other mm -hmm. than the poo-poo stains. <laughs> what? Is there a poo-poo stain on there? There's a turd in this bed. I guess I don't see the turd. No, it's more <laughs> clear from this side of the bed. Hey, right, so this goes down. Ooh. Okay, this is like a basement. This place is a dump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't lockpick it. That's impossible. Uh, the door guarding this vault is enormous and recessed into the walls, floors, and ceiling. It appears that it can only open with the numeric keypad on the wall several feet away. Uh, so we just hit a <laughs> random one. We'll step away from the vault. We don't know key code just yet. I Oops. think Bear could like burst through there. Just, I like, think give so it too. A good you should be able to just kick the door down. All right, so we've explored all this area. So did that elevator thing not work? That guy was talking. That thing was talking at us. And but yeah, I thought it said something about an elevator here. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought it worked, but it didn't seem like it did anything. All right, so we explored all that side. I don't know if the doors opened on this side for us. Uh, yeah, they did. All right, excellent. Hopefully we find more goodies. Yeah, so we'll go over here and see what kind of goodies we can find. Pretty grand. Not with the red pants, huh? Maybe oh, okay, they're uh, 
museum or something. Well, his, his secondary color is red. I didn't know that the <laughs> pants were red because he's so tall I couldn't see his legs. Uh, so, I mean, we can always change gang. it up. There are animals in there, Jinx. In, in, in here. here. Yeah, there's critters. But I think it might be a combat, and I don't know how much time we have. True. I think we have like five minutes. I guess we could try and engage in combat for a second. Oops. Where's the critter? I'm getting stuck on. I don't know. They're in here somewhere. Oh, there they are. You see the, uh, the zone? Yeah, that's definitely a critter. I assume you'd be able to talk to him. There's another one right there. So I don't know if you want to go approach him. Where no, are you at? because I can't switch to. Oh, why can't you switch? Myself. That's really weird. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. You should be able to switch. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, you're in control. Hmm. You know, ready up. Okay. You hitting R1 and I1? Yeah. Because, yeah, that works just fine for me. Huh. Yeah, that's super strange. Alright. I mean, I don't know if there's a bug or... Better get this up and running pronto. Yeah, I'm not well sure, guys. There's food on the tables here. Is uh, it edible? A repair toaster. So there's a toaster. One of the toasters that you can repair and take the shit out of. <laughs> it requires a level 3 toaster skill, though, so... It looks like there's bugs in there. I'll still eat the toast. There's some guys over here on this other side of this, this wall right here. I thought they cleared this place. It's for, No, they said it wasn't cleared. They said they meant to, but they, they hadn't yet. They didn't have time. It's just uh, really Excuses. really strange that you can't change. Again, I feel like it must be a, a bug or something. Hmm. What if I took her for a second? So that I can be So that you again. could be you again, and then I'll give her back to you. Well, that kind of sucks. I've heard from a few people that there are some bugs in, in at least the 1.0 version of the game. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Swamp squads. Alright, so All right, now, now you're you. And so we'll give you back Raven. Or, uh, yeah, Raven. Come on. And hopefully that should fix whatever the damn issue was. Okay, I'm still me. Yeah, I would say don't switch characters. I don't know if you can. I can you? No. Wait, it, if you hit R1 or uh, combat. Like can you that. switch characters down there? Mm -mm. Hmm. That's really strange, man. Yeah, because I see that it says press L1 and R1 to switch, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Uh, maybe some kind of bug with player two, but that will allow you to go play as yourself and talk to one of these these pets, these animals. If you want to run over there, where are you? Oh, there you are. If you want to go run over there and talk to him. I'm trying not to alert Where them. are the animals? There's one over this way, and there's one right there, which I'm about to alert. So. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if you just want to go by yourself and talk to one of them. Get over here and quit following me. <laughs> oh, how'd you tell her to quit following? Oh, okay, yeah, you RV. turned off the, yeah. I hope that I am a high enough level. Well, I mean, we'll just fight it if, if not. Yeah, I gotta get really close to it to pet it. Yeah, I would say like just you're gonna have to walk up to it well before it gets alerted. Quickly, quickly! <laughs> Wait, we weren't supposed to run from it, Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's your turn first. So will you be able to uh, to go and do something to I'm it now? I'm gonna try. Maybe it's a square ability too. It could be like a square ability. I guess we'll shoot over here to Jinx and see what's going on. Oh, it's Ooh, what is usable in exploration. I think it has to be a friendly animal. Oh, okay. This is not a friendly animal. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like animal whisper. You'd be able to do that with any animal, but yeah, I guess not. Maybe if it levels up. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Okay. So we're fighting, guys. We're fighting a critter. Oh, that shotgun does like an area of effect. Mm -hmm. That's why if you have friendly fire on, which it doesn't start default on. Dang, you get that one hit. I feel bad. Uh, if you had the friendly fire on, then the shotgun just wreaks havoc on all your damn allies. All right, so the next critter's coming. Oh, shot at Raven. What the fuck? Oh, and she's sick too. She got a tummy ache now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't know we were gonna fight them all. I love that he leans up against the wall like that. That's yeah, cool. that's cool. I don't think I can fire at that guy from here. I think I'm gonna have to go. 
Yeah, I guess I'll have to go around here or something. Because I don't have enough AP. Why not? Of course they would use dogs against me. Hmm. Is it not my turn? Oh, it's your turn. Still. Oh, shit. Okay. Shit, I'm over here thinking it's my turn. It's Jinx's. Well, it said partner's turn, so I thought it was your turn. Maybe it is my turn. Yeah, why... Oh, I don't have any AP. That's what the problem is. None of my characters have any AP. Is that from the last battle? N no, I don't think so. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, so I guess we'll just... Uh, I'm surprised I even have to say end ability. Yeah. Or end turn. It's like I can't do anything. Can't do anything. Yeah, I'll just end her turn. Alright, it's my turn again, I guess. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why none of my characters have any AP. That's really, really strange, man. Almost like we're not in the fight right now, but mm -hmm. yet I can't can't move into the fight, so I don't know. Uh, some strange shit going on, guys. We'll try to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's a new game, the first time playing it, so at that point, you really don't know like what's a bug and what's just your lack of understanding. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna loot these these critters. Wolverines, that's what they are. And now I'm raving again. <laughs> Your stuck is waving. You can't twitch. Huh, man, that is like super fucking strange, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's got to be a bug, man. Because like, I mean, why wouldn't you be able to switch over or back to your character? Mm hmm Yeah, it's just weird. All right. Well, hopefully there's a patch soon, because an uh. People have reported some other serious issues as oh, well. Okay, if I go into the menu and press L1 and R1, then, then I you can, can switch. switch. Yeah, but you just can't do it out I can't here. Do it, yeah. Okay, well on at least at least you figured it out. Oh, on billboard, I got another uh, robot thingy to talk to. Push buttons on uh, the power button on the machine. Resist your power. Okay. Corruption detected across multiple sectors. Initiating automatic repair operations. Examine personal logs. There are fewer logs than you expect for a base this size. Many have suffered data corruption and unrecoverable, but you have found a few that are leg legible. So, I'm just wondering if it's because you're not in the conversation with me. Like Maybe. If, like, if you came over here, would I be able to do this? Because this is definitely something we need to figure out. It kind of sucks we'd have to, like, keep switching. Yeah, and then I have to go click on everything that you click on. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Uh, so if oh, you want to get raving. you're like spinning around in yeah. circles around me, <laughs> uh, flipping out. Can you not? Can you click on the machine? No. If I press square, yeah, I can't even give it to you. Okay, here we go. Are you into it? Yeah. Nerd stuff. All right, so Jinx. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to transfer it over to you. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, some weird shit, guys. Just gonna need to figure out exactly how the game wants us to do Files it. Files encrypted. You're able to find the custom script that did it and reverse engineer the key. All right, so now we have two personal logs. Uh, this is the one that Jinx just unlocked. Uh, I guess you can read them. He gaze. He fixed his gaze on the monitor. Fingers deftly tapping the keys, expertly covering his tracks as he pulled data from the system. Lieutenant Amore kept stealing glances back at him. Enraptured by stealing. This is a romance novel. Yeah, I don't think this is any. <laughs> these are, yeah, this is supposed to be. I guess a personal log. I suppose you could write whatever the hell you wanted on True. Yeah, he we don't need to write a all. story. Yeah, I guess click on his, see if there's anything in there that's. Worried. I'm wondering about if there's like that, that code there. That's what I'm looking for. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone, and we can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Discipline will keep my men in line, but we've only got a few days until the civilians panic. We'll need to prepare to hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. All right, can can you look or just give me control of it again? I just want to see something here. If there's anywhere in that story that had like a code, that's true. Because I'm wondering. A romance novel would be a good place to hide mm -hmm. a code. Yeah. All right, so there was nothing in there, guys. There's another log that we can unlock with nerd stuff for. But yeah, we don't have nerd stuff for. We have the uh, old security logs. And take a look at those, I suppose. I'm going to read through all this. Okay, so here's the day. Oh, there's a lot to them. Alright, so let's just go through this. The episode's actually over, guys. Uh, so we're just going to go through here kind of quick. I'm mainly looking for codes here. We can kind of see what like happened here. 
Some intruders. What you'd expect in such a situation. They broke in and blew everything up. Mm-hmm. More intruders. Quadrupedal creatures. Creature remains. I didn't do anything about them because they were scared. <laughs> Uh, 1846, that's the time most likely and not military time. That's not the the code that we need. That's mainly what I wanted to see if it's, if anywhere in here we'd have codes. Just a bunch of creatures. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a lot of these, man. <laughs> Just trying to get through this here. Uh, starts for intru Wait a minute. Intruder 032 returns to war room. Okay. So they're naming the intruders now. Alright, you're still not seeing a code here. Uh, incubants with the inability to respond. Yeah, there's so many numbers. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of numbers here, guys. You know what? Let's, uh, we'll do this off camera, guys, because this is actually the end of the episode. Well past the end of the episode, I think. Hard to tell, though, because we did have that cut for the, uh, the character's, uh, creation. So we'll probably finish looting this room off camera, guys, and, and we'll also go through those real quick to see if there's any codes. And uh, when we come back, I guess we'll go fight the dudes that are over there in that area. I, I don't even know if we need to fight them. I just assume that they're uh, bad guys. We'll explore the rest of the base, uh, but man, there's this whole second episode was just this, in this base. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is... Uh, the, the, the episodes feel like they're not long enough, man, uh, to get enough robot. done. Yeah, we did fight a robot. We got some combat in. We fought those creatures as well the wolverines so we got some combat in at least uh, i do hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment i do hope to see you guys on the next episode and thanks for watching